Hello all, I am Professor Nikhilesh Sandhudikar from Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, KITS College of Engineering, Kolhapur. I would like to welcome you all for the series of sessions on the project management. In the previous lectures, we have talked about the basic definitions of project management, what is the necessity, what are the project management knowledge area project life cycle and delays which are happening in the project management. So today we are going to discuss about the types of projects particularly in the construction industry. So what are the types of project and how we can categorize this. So this is the purpose <coughs> of the project, what are the broader objectives are there. This is the lesson number 5 that is the types of project understand the various types of construction project. So this is the outline we are going to discuss about the construction project. So construction projects are often categorized based upon their scale. So the scale of project we need to understand. So generally we can define the scale of project is that how many people are getting affected, how much cost is involved, how many people are getting benefited. So that we define as in terms of scale. So the types of structure those are being built, what are the types of structure and the purpose of the project for which purpose we are constructing certain structure or completing certain project. So that is the purpose. Also we can call as the end use of the project or the land use of the project. So broadly there are the six types of construction project that we can categorize. There we can apply the various parameters in the various books you might see in the different types of projects or the construction project. But generally we are going to categorize the construction project in this six type. So first one there is the residential one, then commercial, institutional, then the mixed use, then industrial and heavy civil projects. So these are the six types of project generally that we can have in the construction field. Now once again I am saying is that the various books, various classification you might see but in general there are these six type of construction projects are there. So the first one it is the residential project. So residential construction describes the structure built for the habitation. So habitation means what? The day to day needs are there. Human need to need the place to sleep. They will need the kitchen. They will need the bathrooms, toilets. They may need the space for relaxing. So all these habitations are there. So generally that we term as the residential construction. Then this category we can broke down into the single family and the multiple family construction. So single family generally there are the bungalows we can have twin bungalows, row houses. In the multifamily we can have the apartments, we can have the twin bungalows or the certain projects. But even then, when the multifamily is offered to broad category to an adequately describe the project's needs and consideration. So in that case, we have to consider the need of number of families. So that is the residential projects. So generally, this project compromises of the residential bungalows, apartments, row houses, and whatever the <coughs> things are there related with all these things. So that is the residential project. 
then next one the commercial project so the commercial construction it is a broad category that can describe the wide variety of business facilities so in this type of construction we are going to provide the business facility for the variety types of business so these includes the offices retail store shopping center hotels and all other facilities built for the commercial use so if you want to compare with the residential construction commercial projects are exponential more complex so what is the reason when we talk about the residential building generally we know what are the requirement so we know that there should be the living room there should be the bedroom there should be the hall kitchen toilets bathroom and one or two extra rooms might be there according to the customer's demand but this is the basic one but when we talk about the commercial project the requirements are variable or the exponential things can be done there. so commercial developers and designers must consider the vast array of needs so it may include the function safety environment energy efficiency and accessibility to the name of few so these are the some things so when we talk about the function if you take the example of the mall in the particular mall you may say there might be the multiplex there might be the commercial shop which is selling the clothes there might be the hotels restaurants and if you consider this as a single entity the multiplexes will have the different requirement the restaurants will have the different requirement different functioning a cloth store will be having the different functioning and the requirements so all these things are there so vast array of needs is there so that's why designing and constructing the commercial complexes are much more challenging task with compared to the residential building so that is the commercial project so generally we use it for the mini money making then next one there are the mixed use projects so mixed use construction projects combine the multiple types of construction and the land use within the single development so the application part or the function part may be the mixed one so these are designed to create more efficient and integrated community by providing the variety of functions in a close proximity to each other so they often include the mix of residential and commercial unit so generally we can say the commercial requirements are there for the particular residential houses you may require the ration store or you may require the medical facilities hospital facilities near to the your bungalows or apartment so generally that we term as the mixed use project so in that residential and commercial unit recreational facilities green spaces and public amenities to create vibrant convenient urban or sub urban environment that's why we are having the mixed use project so here both residential and commercial might be there so that is the mixed use project then in that we can categorize mixed use project into the two types first one vertical and next one horizontal so the vertical mixed use project stacks different end uses within the single building so within the single building itself we are going to have the units which can be used for the multiple function so generally on the first store or up to the first story we can have the retail spaces on the ground floor or the office spaces and at the upper floors we can have the residential apartments so they are commonly in the densely populated areas we can have especially as the urban infill where the property scarce are there land is not available in that case we can go for the vertical mixed use then next one horizontal mixed use where the vertical mixed use project built up horizontal mixed use developments built out so along the same land we can have the multiple types of buildings so as a result this type of project is more common in the suburban settings where the space is cheaper and more readily 
available. So, in the horizontal mix is we are expanding it horizontally. Where the area is bigger, it is cheaper and readily available. So, individual buildings within the development typically have their own designated Utes. So, for in the single project, we can have the residential bungalows along with the theatres, along with the parking area, along with the storerooms or we can say the <coughs> uh, commercial rooms or the commercial shops. All these things can have within the single umbrella. So, that is the horizontal mixed use build. The next one, it is the transit oriented developments or TODs. So, it includes the varieties of facilities that is a residential unit, office space, retail stores and public amenities designed within the walking distance of the public transit hubs or train station or bus terminals to reduce the reliance on the private vehicles. So, that is the transit oriented, how the transportation is going to be there. So, generally in this type of project, we are considering the location of buses, location of the local trains near to each other and according to that we are constructing the project. So, that is the another type. Then next one, it is the institutional project. So, it generally describes the project intent for the public use, such as the educational institute like the school, colleges, government offices can be there, government building, then hospitals, and other public services. So, generally water treatment plant, STP, all these things are there. So, in a way, this type of project is the public version of the commercial project from where government is tend to generate the review, revenue. So, that is the institutional project. Then industrial projects. So, industrial construction project describes the bill for industrial use. So, generally for the manufacturing purpose, such as the manufacturing plant, then the warehouses where we are going to store the material, then power plants which are going to use for the power generation. So, the example of industrial project that will include the factories, chemical processing facilities, facilities, oil refineries, all these things are there. And the last one, it is the heavy civil project. So, once in a while when we are going to construct the project that we term as the heavy civil or the extraordinary projects. So, it describes the large scale engineering projects typically associated with the infrastructure development or public works. So, civil projects include the transportation system. So, in that there might be the highways, bridges, tunnels, railways, airports. Then utility that is the water and sewage system, communication and power distribution network and other large scale public work projects. So, these projects are often referred to broadly as the horizontal construction because they are typically longer than they are tall. So, these are the heavy civil projects. So, generally the more number of people are going to affected by this, the cost will be the much higher and generally in the day to day life, we are not starting the new such kind of project. So, that is the heavy civil projects are there. So, this is the small introduction to the types of project we can have in the construction industry. So, every project will have the every different requirement, different demand, different resources might be required and according to that, we have to plan as a project manager. So, this is the unit number one from the project management where we have discussed about the definitions of project management, its necessity, then project management knowledge areas, project life cycle, the reason for delays which are happening and the types of construction project. So, here the unit number one from the project management is get completed. So, at the end, is one of the famous quote that is the average project is an opportunity to learn to figure out the problems and challenges to invent and reinvent. So, it is very important as particularly in the construction industry every project will have its own challenges, own deficiencies. For that we have to overcome and we have to complete the project successfully 
and we have to learn those things and we have to we may need to invent the some new things so thank you all